We're here in front of the Columbia Memorial Space Center where we have one of our exhibits that all you have to do is walk right up to it and that is Apollo Boiler Plate number 12. If you're thinking, hey, this looks like an Apollo capsule, you are right. In designing crewed spacecraft, we'll often make a version of it that's the same size, shape, and weight as the final product, but not include things like computers or a life support system. And that empty shell of a spacecraft is called a boilerplate, and they are built to make sure that we have designed everything correctly. Now, each boilerplate does something very specific to it, and BP-12 here was built to go on a little ride. There's no way to get around it. Rockets are big fuel tanks. The physics of weight and the energy needed to reach the speeds of orbit or going to the moon demand that 95 to 98% of the weight of your launch vehicle to be fuel. If something goes wrong, that's a lot of boom that can happen below you, and you really don't want to be close to that. So you have a launch escape system. For Apollo, a tower was on top with motors that when activated would pull the capsule safely away. And that's what BP-12 here was designed to test. Will that launch escape system pull the capsule safely away? BP-12 was put on top of a little Joe 2 rocket. These small rockets were designed specifically for the launch escape tests. So BP-12 was fitted to the top of one, and on a test flight known as A-001, BP-12 lifted off from the White Sands Missile Range on May 13, 1964. Now, after firing for 42 seconds, the launch escape tower's motors kicked in and safely pulled BP-12 away, reaching a maximum height of just under 30,000 feet. After parachute deployment, one of the three parachute lines actually rubbed against the upper deck and broke. So that caused BP-12 to come down under two parachutes. Now the Apollo capsules, they were designed to come down under two parachutes. So that was a little added bonus to this test. Except for the single parachute failure, all test objectives were met and the flight was considered a massive success. BP-12 technically flew the first flight of an Apollo command module on a rocket. And they were all built right here in Downey. So when you come to the Columbia Memorial Space Center, you don't have to go inside. You just have to come on out in order to enjoy BP-12. For the holidays, we light it up as the world's only Mach 32 capable Christmas tree. And if you play Pokemon Go, you also are probably quite familiar with BP-12. So the next time you're driving past on your bike or walking through the park, make sure to stop and take a visit. Look at history. Look at real flight hardware. Something that helped us take our first small steps and giant leaps into the cosmos.